Hello everyone, let's look at how to enable the new features and changes that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11 version 24H2 in June 2025. These new improvements are available with the update AV5050A499. But depending on when you are installing the update, it might have a slightly different number. Okay, to start, we need to go to the settings app and then we need to open the Windows update settings page and then make sure to check this option and this will allow the system to get the June 2025 update as soon it becomes available in the stable channel. And then just simply click the check for updates button. After the update installs on your computer, you want to go to the Windows update settings one more time and then from the update history page, you can confirm that the update has been installed on your computer. Also, it is important to open the Microsoft Store and then check for updates to make sure that all the apps are updated. Since many times, new features require components from a specific applications. Now, after completing this process, all the new features arriving with the June 2025 update for Windows 11 version 24H2 should be available on your computer. And that includes the ability to set Copilot as the app to open when you press the Copilot key on your keyboard instead of the text input setting. Now, this update should also enable the resume feature that basically allows you to start a document on your phone and then pick up where you left off on your computer. Also, if we go to the settings app, more specifically to the about page, you will also find a new frequently asked questions. And this section will now provide answers to common questions about the system setup, performance, and capabilities. Now, if we go to the accessibility section, more specifically to the mouse page, starting with the June 2025 update, some of the options available through control panel are now coming to the settings app, and that includes the customized pointer image settings that allows you to change the icon for each of the states of the pointer. Also, there is the new mouse indicator option and other legacy settings, such as the mouse pointer trail and the enable mouse pointer shadow. If we go to the mouse page, we're also going to notice that the enhanced pointer precision and the mouse pointer speed have new icons. As part of the taskbar improvements, Microsoft is adding the ability for network administrators to control the apps that users can or cannot unpin from the taskbar. Microsoft is also adding a new interface that enables you to drag a file to the top of the page in order to share with different applications. Now, if we go to the group policy editor, more specifically to the power management settings, and then we go to the energy saving settings, Microsoft is setting a new policy that allows, that allows network administrators to keep energy saver always on to conserve energy. Also, the quick settings menu has been updated and now on accessibility, you will find the option to enable and disable voice access. Now, also as part of the sharing experience on Windows 11, when you try to share an image, you will now find an edit button that will allow you to crop, rotate, and apply filters to an image before sending it. Now, the June 2025 update for Windows 11 also includes some improvements for AI, but these are specifically for Copilot Plus PCs. And these features include an update for click to do. So now if I open click to do, and I'm going to do that with the Windows key plus Q keyboard shortcut. And then when selecting some text, we're going to find a new Ask Copilot option that will send that selection, in this case for text, to the Copilot app. Also, for Copilot Plus PC, using AMD and Intel processors, will now find the options to summarize, create a bulleted list, and the rewrite feature. Now, starting with this update, semantic indexing is also coming to Windows Search in the search box for the taskbar. So that means that now you can use AI to find documents and images without having to rely solely on metadata and file name. And also the narrator feature should now be able to create a description using AI for images. Now, if your computer supports it, starting with this update on the HDR settings, you can choose to stream video even when HDR is turned off with this new option. Also, there's another setting that allows you to turn on 
Dolby Vision independently of HDR. But of course, these two features will only be available if your computer supports them. Now, if some of the features are missing, you may be able to enable them manually using the Vive tool. You can download this tool from this GitHub page by choosing the correct platform for your computer. As you can see, you will download this package if you are using an ARM or a Copilot Plus PC, and this one will be available for devices running regular AMD and Intel processors. Once you downloaded the package, and then you need to extract it, Remember the location, which is going to right click and select copy. Now we're going to open, in my case, the terminal as an administrator, but I'm actually going to open command prompt. And then I just need to use the CD command and I'm going to type the path where I extracted the files. You should be able to enable some of the features. First, as a prerequisite, you want to run this command. And then to enable the copilot key setting, you need to run this command. Now, to enable the interface to share a file just by dragging the file to the top of the screen, you need to run this command. To enable the edit button for Windows Share, run this command. And then to enable the frequently asked questions section on the about page, you need to run this command. To enable the customized mouse settings, you need to run this command. To access the changes for the quick settings, run this command. To get the ask Copilot option for click to do, run this command, and to enable the HDR settings, run this command. Now, restart the computer, and you might be able to access all or at least some of the new features. And finally, it is important to note that Microsoft rolls out new features gradually, meaning that installing the latest update does not guarantee that your device will access to all the new features and improvements. Also, some of the new features require special hardware, especially those AI and HDR improvements. Even more, the availability of new features will depend on your graphical location, the language that you use on your computer, and features available in built-in apps may also require updates from the Microsoft Store that can also take some time to arrive. And that's it. That is how you enable all the new features and changes for the latest update for Windows 11 version 24H2. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes, which ones are available to you and which, and which ones are not. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.